Hola, hello, bonjour, konnichiwa, and welcome back to Cheese Disabled. We are reviewing what happened in the first episode of Ghost of Tsushima, and uh, we've got a lot going on here. This man threw a man drink in the dude's face, lights him on fire, and then proceeds to separate head from body. He is brutal. This kicks off our uh, samurai leader to launch a war where we riding on horseback get blown off get saved by said feudal lord and then charge into the battle where we get blown up again and then hit with an arrow to the back uh like boromir and yeah and now we see our uncle getting sliced down and we see our new friend and savior yuna take out one of these Mongolian warriors, and we're now back into the game. This is what we're doing. We are back in the house, body on the ground. Yuna's like, what fam? And uh, you want your sword? Let's get it moving. She's checking the pulse, making sure she finished the job. Do you want your sword? We better go get it. That's what she's telling you, man. We gotta go get the sword. So we're running out the window, you know, parkour, like Michael Scott, Michael Scarn. We're looking for Golden Face. We're looking for our sword. And we are diving behind this crate. We cannot be seen. We are on a stealth mission. Cue the solid snake, exclamation point. Music, I'll throw that in here probably because I'm a dork. Uh, and we are still moving along. This game is pretty though, super pretty. I have to admit, despite the issues I've had with it so far, with uh, the sound and all the other nonsense and issues of getting the video to render and then getting the video to process, etc., etc., we are here. We're still at it. We're jumping back in. We're moving underneath the house like a rat. Shimura is my uncle. You're Jin Sakai. You're Jin Sakai? That is correct, I am. Jito's nephew? I have to know. Better known in the sheets as Jin and Juice, baby? I think so. The Mongols took him prisoner. What Mongols took him, him prisoner? Along We're the looking for him. Toward Castle Kaneda. They must be holding him inside. Celebrating their victory. I could take them by surprise. You'll be killed. These men are out here celebrating victory. He can contact the Shogun. Not knowing they left the protagonist out here. To watch you throw your life away. Why did you save me? I couldn't leave you to die. Yuna's very practical. I gotta give her that. Lord Shimura can help our whole island. He's the only family I have left. Yeah, he's our fam, fam. We gotta go get him. Can't leave the fam behind. So I guess it looked like he got sliced in half, but apparently that man's Wolverine. Uh, you know, I know Wolverine spent some time in Japan. So perhaps he is Hugh Jackman. Not sure though. Because I thought that was a fatal blow, but apparently it wasn't. Looked like it to me, though. We're moving and grooving through the weeds. Sneaking through a fence. Ducking down behind a barrel. We can't be seen. I don't know what happens if we get seen. I didn't let that go it progress that far. I wasn't going to take that chance. Moving again. And where this, where's my, why is my sword like 85 miles away? Clear the road. If we cross, someone's bound to see us. 
I don't understand this. What is this woman own like a shopping mall or a, like an apartment complex? Does she have like multiple properties and this is like her stash house, you know, her trap house? I, I don't understand what's going on here. Cause I feel like if she had my sword and she had me, I'm in the house. Why is my sword? Why is my armor in the house? My sword is I'm roofs, scavenge battlefields. You're a thief. When I need something, I take it. Like my katana. I traded it for food and medicine. Oh. Don't worry. We'll find the buyer. Get your sword back. So you found me clearly some kind of noble samurai. Take whatever supplies you can carry. This is someone's and house. you robbed me of the one means of defense I had. Seems pretty shady, bruh. She gonna be one of these like buddies that stabs you in the back later? Like the Mongolians toss her like some money and a katana to trade and like, yeah, F this gen guy, I got my brother back. I guess that's probably what they probably trade her as her brother back. So she got her brother back. She probably betrayed us. Looked around there. There was no other supplies to pick up. And we are moving on. And every way his windows are busted out. Oh, that's a dead body right there. That's it's wild. Just dude posted up all bloody and uh. All right, what's the oh, 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 it's our katana. You don't want to mess with the man with the katana. You don't want to. Oh, I am Jin Sakai. That was that Wes Anderson shot right there. And I am no coward. <laughs> Your enemy is no match for you. Even but Jin Sakai needed a montage. Still lack control. I was practicing. With your father's weapon. You done took your daddy's blade out here in the Sakai wind. Has saved lives. Playing around. And ended wars. You are a scrub, Jin. A low down scrub. Who did this to you? No one. Yeah, I hear lying the unk on top of it. Yourself. I know how to fight. To master your blade, you must first control your emotions. I can do that, Uncle. Through a lot of therapy and meditation, perhaps a little bit of the sticky icky, little gin and juice, we will uh master our emotion we are master of our own domain let's see what you've been practicing Try show to us me. yes uncle. i know sword fighting show me so this is clearly a combat tutorial if you watched episode one kind of told you all this stuff already but game's gonna walk you through it here You'd fought like that, your attacker would not have bruised you so easily. It wasn't a fair fight. Oh wow. Then he's returned to finish what he started. And he'll use every dirty trick he knows. How will you defend yourself? Punk said if you weren't such a little punk, it wouldn't happen that way. But I'm quicker. I'll stay out of his reach. Wait for him to get tired. Then drop him with one strike. Good. Flow like a butterfly and sing like a bee, baby. Patience and discipline. Even when his opponent resorts to trickery. I'll remember, Uncle. Now, Uncle's a wise dude. Show me Jin Sakai is a warrior of great courage. <laughs> Gotta hit him with that heavy attack. Break the guard and then hit him with some lights. A one, two. Enough. <laughs> I yield. You let me win. Not at all. If you held the real sword, I would be dead. Really? I would. That'd be pretty messed you. up. Now for a 
changed. We killed your uncle. That will not go easy on you. This is a fine block. Golden L won the block. <laughs> Nothing I fancy. Saw. Can we take a break? We're not finished yet. Find your resolve and fight through the pain. Good. I like that little method of healing where you uh, regenerate like ultimate and then you use that to heal. It's pretty helpful. You'll see it come in useful later. Uh, I'm sure we'll be using it a lot as we progress through this game. It's time if we continue playing. Wait for me to make I'm kind of on the fence, Once to be I honest. Strike, block my attack. You must parry before I strike. Like I said, I'm kind of on the fence because of the issues we've had so far. If they persist, I will not. But if they've ironed themselves out, we are interested very much so in this story. It will take more than a child to knock the wind out of me. Now then, let's see you defend against a spear. Unk is sunning us out here. Watch my spear, then follow up with a counterattack. Good reflexes. I am vulnerable after attacking. A dodge. Remember. No dodge roll though, just a normal dodge. Excellent dodge. Kind of interesting. But I think we're so used to these dodge rolls in these Souls games that it feels kind of unnatural just to have a normal like sidestep as opposed to a roll. There is no weapon, no warrior you cannot overcome. Thank you for these lessons, Uncle. We are not finished yet. Jin Sakai, will you honor me with a sparring match? I wouldn't want to hurt you. If you're that confident, let's make this interesting. The first to land five strikes gets to choose dinner. That's good, because I, I kind of want a Big Mac. <laughs> well, oh, heck no. You're not taking my Mickey D's away from me, man. We blocking, striking. Very Heavy. Good. Ooh, ooh. Take that. Oh, ooh, ooh. Who you son and unk? It's not Jen Sakai. Before we eat, I have one last question. For generations, our families have lived by a code. Tell me the virtues that guide us. Courage to our Lord. Control of our emotions. And I was saying courage, no honor, peace. no mercy. Honor. To fight bravely and uphold the legacy of Clan Sakai. Those are your father's words. What does honor mean to you? I guess protecting people. The ones who can't fight for themselves. You have a good heart. But first, you have a good heart. We must show everyone that we serve our Lord with it would be a shame integrity and self control. If any girl broke it, it's easy. Watch out for them thoughts, Jen. Easy, Jen. I struggle with it every day. Unk struggles with the thoughts, too. People by remaining true to our code and to ourselves. Gotta remain true to the bro code and to yourself. That is the meaning of honor. The samurai in the mirror. I'm not their samurai. All right. So one thing I want to know here that again, my wonderful girlfriend who's super as points out a lot of stuff to me in games. Uh, even though your dialogue is in English or if you pick Japanese, uh, the Mongolians speak a different language than you. No matter what you do, which is kind of neat. So you're not supposed to understand them it is Jen, which is uh, a nice touch. Pitching a detail that will give sucker punch. Uh, we gave that man another pay cut. A little, you're fired. You're done. Oh, nice for unit to show up after uh, we scavenged this house, found her sword. And so how did that guy get by her? Actually. Like she's standing outside the window. This dude just rolls up on us and like, she's just chilling out, like watching him. Like, okay, I'm just going to watch him go in there and try to kill this dude from behind. All right. So we're heading to the stables. We're a little unstable, but uh, you know, is what it is. We 
can get close, slit their throats, and kill them without a sound. Without honor. I will not break my code. That's right. We're not letting no e-girl make us Face break me, the code. We're not Tom Hanks. We're not cracking codes out here. This combat feels very kind of rock, paper, scissory combined with uh, old school, original style Assassin's Creed. I'm done running and I can finally help. Damn it. Not running. We're out here fighting Mongolians. Darn Mongolians. Don't let anyone escape. No escape, no mercy, no surrender. Jin Sakai never dies. Thank you, my lord. They said all the samurai were dead. Do you have somewhere to hide? I heard Golden Temple might be safe. Go. Stay off the roads. And guard your son with your life. This man and his baby both rocking the same haircut. They couldn't defend themselves. And I... I can't let more of our people die. They're not the only ones who need you. My brother. The Mongols took him. That's why you saved me. Taka is my only family. And Lord Shimura is mine. Please. I just want my brother back. I'll help you find him after I save my uncle. One thing I do appreciate I is how both of these characters kind of stay true to their own just up ahead. desires she um she's selfish and wants to save her brother jen only cares about doing what he wants to do neither of them kind of waver it is kind of crappy of her to be like don't save your uncle he's as good as dead but go save who could actually like save the whole country but do save my brother who's like a nobody that you don't even i you don't know me i'm nobody and my brother's a nobody but don't save the guy who could literally save the entire island and my brother at the same time. And right there, I'm trash. I died. I don't really know what happened. I got hit. I said I could heal. I hit the button to heal and Jin just, you know, said, nah, we're not doing that. And I died. But we are back. Learned from mistakes. Let's get to the horses. Uh, we're going to the horses now. We healed that time. What horse do you want? Oh, I like this black one, maybe. That one's gray. It's kind of nice. White, gray, black. Yeah, I think we'll probably go with the black one. Or this gray one. I don't know. Oh, wait. The game's like, no. You know you have the deluxe edition, right? You don't want this horse. Don't pick this horse. Wink, wink. And it doesn't tell you which one's the deluxe edition horse. So I ran over this one thing. Well, the one on the end has got to be, no, that's not deluxe. That's not deluxe either. There's one horse left. This plain looking brown one, not the cool looking black one is your deluxe edition horse. And he needs a name. And we are going to name him Kage because I am an edgy edge Lord boy. And we like the shadow. Where are they? We're on the shadow. Now we're riding out and get another one of these epic cutscenes. Long journey on a map and we popped our first trophy of the game. Yes, that is the first trophy that you unlock. It is storyline pendant. You cannot avoid it. I don't know why you'd want to avoid trophies, but yep, it's one of the unavoidable ones, non-missable. There's nothing missable, but there are ones that you might have to go back and do and clean up. 
that is one that automatically pops. So now we're at the castle. We could cause a distraction. Sneak in. No. And even though we got worked by like three peasant dudes and taken out in the beginning of the game, we think we're just gonna solo this castle, supposedly. That's what the Mongols will think. But this time I'll strike first. Oh, I see. So they uh, you know, yeah, the Mongols think that we're gonna run in here and get our butts kicked. So they're not planning on us to run in here and get our butt kicked. So we're going to run in here and not get our butt kicked. We're going to have a standoff instead. Standoff's pretty neat, actually. I've come for Lord Shimura. Where is Lord Shimura? Maybe I'm setting up a long joke with this bad impression. You don't know. You'll see. We'll find out. Ooh. I was going to say, that didn't kill him. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty brutal. These kill animations are pretty good. I got to admit. Uh, yeah, as I rewatch this footage to record my audio, I'm starting to feel more pumped about playing this game again after not feeling so good about it with all the issues we had in production of video one also fun fact we are playing in medium difficulty uh if you play on easy it doesn't affect your trophies if you play on hard it doesn't affect your trophies so play on whatever difficulty you feel comfortable with and you'll still be able to unlock everything. If something's hard, dial the difficulty down. If something's too easy, dial it back up. You know, progress. You know, as a player, progress your difficulty. Uh, keep a, you know, no need to stay static if you don't want to. I say that, and I don't know if you can actually do that. I'll have to check that out. I might be looking stupid right now, but if, if I'm wrong, I'll make a notation at some point to let you know that I am. I would imagine you could probably Keep progress moving. the difficulty on your own. Ooh. Making it rain. This man is very aggressive. And how did he break my guard? I wasn't, that wasn't a heavy shot, but okay. Tired of all these darn mongols on this uh, darn walkway. We can't keep going. I have to fall back. Alone? Keep the path clear. When I find Lord Shimura, we'll need a quick escape. I'll get the horses ready. Do it. Yeah, get the horses ready. We're gonna rescue Remember our Max. uncle. Right for the forest. We're gonna get the hell on. <laughs> He is staggered and he is getting that work. We heal up again. Ooh, geez. Gotta hit him with that heavy shot, break that shield. Again, sick kill animations. Very nice. Very cool. Very brutal. Sucker punch do what they wanted. All right, we're going to have some fun with this. Feeling a little more loose these days. It felt like I've been a little stiff on this channel. Going to shake it off like Taylor Swift 
and uh, we're gonna take the plunge uh, that was uh, good timing i didn't mean that you know but uh exceptional timing there we're gonna call for another standoff this time without the convenient button prompts he's yelling at something else in a language we don't understand and we just uh yeah gave that man a neck injury I don't understand the purpose of the standoff if you have to fight like five dudes afterwards anyway i really don't get it um like shouldn't those guys be all scared because you just took out their boss and they're like ah, gonna hit the bricks kid man out here like uh like that man, Captain Kirk, yelling for Khan. I am Jin Sakai. I like that fur Master armor, though. Lord Shimura. I have come to avenge his honor. We're gonna give you that clean blade. Jin. Your uncle. I will show him his nephew, broken and humiliated, begging to join the Mongol Empire. <laughs> this is your time, Lord Sakai. This is going to trigger a boss battle uh, that is unwinnable, I believe. It might be one of those like Dark Soul ones where, you know, if you're like super GG at it, you can do it. I am not that guy. Uh, we're gonna lose here and we will end the video at the end of the cutscene when we lose said fight. So with that being said, as we wind down, I just want to thank you for watching my videos. Stay tuned. More will be coming. Enough. Surrender. Yeah, give up, Jen. Let's move on to another game. Show your uncle how easily he can bring peace to your home. Ooh. Uncle's like, no. Nah. Nah, Jen. Ooh. What do you see? Slice of face. Me with the other side, what do you see? Cold of face. Putting them together, what do you get? Slicey face, what'd you do with Coral and Cuddy face? They didn't do anything to you. I failed. Again. Shout out to Badman by Pete Holmes. That is a dope mask. Ooh. All right, Jen's kind of a punk. I gotta say, like, I don't know how I feel about Jen yet. We're gonna need to see some character growth out of Jen before we really start liking him. But Young master. we will have to hope for that in another episode because this is where we call it a day. Uh, good night. Thank you for watching. We'll see you for episode two slash three. Hasta la vista.